Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. T-G-I-N-F, as they say. Hope everybody's having a good one. Looks like it's going to be an awesome weekend here in uh, my little neck of the woods. It is sunny and dry. Still kind of cold. I just checked the temperature. It was like 37 degrees. Feels like 33 or something because it's a little breezy out. Uh, and it's only going to get up to the low 50s, I think. But you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. At least it's sunny and dry. So it's going to be a good day. Great weekend. Hope y'all have a good one too. Let's see who we got uh, hanging out over here. Looks like we already got a few folks. We have Ronald Cool. Says, hi all. Have a good Friday. By the way, that comment was posted at 748. <laughs> you guys kill me. Uh, good morning all. Going to be a great Friday. 70s and bright sunshine. All right. Good morning to you, Larry. How you doing? Joanne, or is it Dwayne says, good morning, Ron, Larry, Troy, Russ, Big D, Hobby. Uh, good morning, Joanne or Dwayne, whoever you are. Uh, Hitch Hamilton's in the house. He says, good morning, everybody. TGIF, nippy, 48 degrees here in southwest Florida. Got a job to do this morning. Have a great weekend. All right, Hitch, if you're not able to hang around, have a good one, buddy. Wilson Rubottom says, good morning, all, and a thumbs up. I appreciate those thumbs up, you guys. Um, gives me warm and fuzzies when I get those. Keith Stanford says, good morning, all, 19 degrees and sunny in New Hampshire. Man, it's cold up there. That's cold. Paul Stewart's here this morning. He says, happy Friday. Steven Toronto, good morning all. Coffee brewing, good, good. Steve Gronsky, good morning. 39 degrees, headed for 60 plus. Have a great Friday and a thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Clyde Labani, CNC, says good morning. How are you doing, Clyde? Kevin Ells, keeping that streak alive. Good to see you, Kevin. Earl Walker says, morning, everyone. A cold 19 degrees today. Gave a, I think I'm supposed to be, have a great day and a thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Here's Dwayne over there on the Facebook. Uh, good morning to all. Minus eight degrees out. Feels like minus 15 with the wind. Happy Friday. The 105th coffee session. Yep, this is number 105. Sure is. Ryan Ballard's hanging around this morning. How you doing, Ryan? There's uh, Hobby's Wood Shop. Morning, Hobby. How you doing? Um, there's Janet. How you doing, Janet? Good to see you here on the coffee sessions. Uh, Jesse Brown is here this morning. Good morning, Jesse. Hope you're doing well. John N. says morning all. Uh, L.B. Sharp says morning all. Oops, where'd I go? Mark Lindsay CNC says morning, y'all. Just woke up and coffee's cooking, yeah. I can smell it from here. Uh, Klondike says good morning. On the end says, yesterday we got about a foot of snow. For crying out loud. Minus five degrees and more snow coming. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want any part of that. Javi the master solder. Yeah. He, yeah, I would agree with that, I guess. Rob Schuster's hanging out this morning. How you doing, Rob? Gary Hammett, good morning, sir. There's old snowbird Jim Senecola. Good morning, all. Clear blue sky, sun, and chilly. Mike Reynolds is in the house. Says, happy Friday, everyone. Thumbs up. I appreciate the thumbs up, guys. Uh, Clyde says, 19 degrees. That's cold. That's cold. 
It, uh, I don't really mind days like this. It's cold. It's obviously colder than I like. Cause I, you know, anything below 50 is cold to me. Uh, but when it's nice and sunny, blue sky, not a cloud in the sky, that makes you, makes you feel good. Love good, bright, sunny days. Um, Jan, <laughs> Janet says, we all want to know if Jack got his new ball yet or found his old one. I will give you an update. Uh, and I'll have to give you the the nice version, I guess. After yesterday's coffee session, I had some work I was going to be doing. I thought, well, before I get tied up doing all this work, we'll make another search party and we'll get out there and we're going to find that ball. Well, there's good news and there's bad news to this story. The good news is we did find the ball. Uh, actually I found it and I don't know how I didn't see it yesterday. Like I said, it's kind of, it kind of blends in with stuff now because I'd walked right past it yesterday, probably a couple of times, but we did find the ball. But the bad news is while looking for the ball, I stepped in a brand new fresh pile of, yep. So I had to take my shoes off and leave them out on, out on the deck. <laughs> I mean, it was a fresh one, too. Oh, gosh. And I don't know how I missed it. I guess I was so busy looking around for that ball, I wasn't watching where I was stepping. And hot diggity. There we go. So, anywho, we did find a ball. But he does have a new ball. Um, a pretty red one. And it'll, it'll match all his other little chewy toys. You all seen when he brings those... Uh, he didn't have one in here now, but all these, he's got like three other toys. Like we call them chewy toys and uh, they're all red, rubbery red. So he's getting a new ball. I know he'll be excited when the Amazon van pulls up today. So yeah, so it's going to be a great day for everybody. Even, even Jack. Um, so pretty excited about that. Um, that was uh, that was a good good thing to find the ball, and I don't know how he didn't find it because usually he's really good at uh, at sniffing it out and finding it. But I remember yesterday, right after right after I threw the ball, you know, right before he lost it, or I guess it was the day before. Um, I don't know whether he saw a deer or what, but he headed over to the corner. And that's kind of where I found that ball. It was against the fence uh, over there near that corner. So he must have carried it in his mouth because he can bark with a big ball in his mouth. I don't know how he does it, but he but he can. Um, but anyway, life is good. We found the old ball, got a new ball coming today. Things just couldn't be better. Uh, Troy Pritchard's in the house says, good morning, everybody. Thumbs up. Happy Friday. Thank you for the thumbs up, Troy. I appreciate it. Um, Mark Lindsay says, 34 degrees at 6 a.m. Hope it hits 60 degrees again today. Oh, so I guess it hit 60 yesterday. That's pretty awesome. Um. Dwayne says, what are you building this weekend, Dave Gatton? Well, Dave Gatton is going to be, uh, I'm going to be shooting a video. Uh, and I've got, um, I've got a whole bunch of projects, you know, little things that I'm going to do. Um, and, I'll, and I'll be probably videoing most of them, if not all of them. But they're just... I have to do them in kind of a certain order. Uh, at least that's the way I want to do them. But, uh, <laughs> Janice says, do you have new shoes coming today also? No, but I tell you that I just about thought about throwing those away if they weren't, um, it, you know, and it's too bad. It wasn't my old work boots or something. Uh, my clod hoppers, I call them. Uh, but I happen to be wearing my, um, 
I don't know what you call them. I guess they're walking shoes or running shoes or whatever, although I don't run. Um, but uh, they were some Brooks, I think is what they are. And they're real comfortable. Um, but I happen to have those on. <laughs> I stepped in at it. Oh, man. Yeah. But I've, uh, you know, I set them out and let it all dry up, and then I knocked most of it off, and then I've got them setting outside still so that'll that'd be okay eventually but when it's nice and fresh like that you can't even bring them in the house because well you know uh, ryan says my big shepherd could put four tennis balls in his mouth at once yeah yeah i've seen some of those dogs that have really big mouths uh, this ball's pretty good size it's uh it's probably about the size of a softball, maybe maybe a little smaller than a softball, but bigger than a baseball. But he loves that thing. And I'm really excited because I know he's going to love that red one. Because And I wanted the red one because I figure it'll be, you know, it won't blend in like that other one. Because the other one started off kind of a yellow. But as it got dull looking and, you know, brown and dirty and, slobbery and all that and there's so many leaves and stuff out there on the ground that it just started blending in and you can't can't find it so hopefully this red one we will uh, be able to keep up with better so that's uh that's what i got going on what y'all got going on this weekend any uh, big plans I, I think the weather's supposed to be uh, pretty good except for maybe a few places um don't really have a whole lot of um important news uh you know we keep uh, we keep talking about the, the coronavirus and stuff and I think it's odd, and I don't want to dwell on this uh, coronavirus stuff, but I think it's kind of odd that, you know, back when I was, you know, posting stuff every day and it was like really jumping up, not here in the U.S. or, or but, you know, over there in China and stuff, you didn't really hear that much about it on the news. I mean, they'd talk about it in passing, but, you know, that wasn't their big story, you know. They had lots of other big stories to talk about. But now, now that uh, President Trump did a press conference and, you know, talked about his team, now it's like all over the news there, you know, all the politicians are talking about how what he's doing is too little, too late. And it's, you know, and now they're like really fear mongering, in my opinion, uh, because they see that because of the supply chain is, is starting to take a a hit on the stock market so i'm thinking they're thinking yeah let's really let's really hype this up now because if we can get the economy to go to crap um you know they might have a chance at uh beating trump so i don't know but i just i just find their timing on things really really weird because now when they talk about it it's like oh my god and then you go to you go to check uh, just for example, I've got, got it pulled up right here. The, the total cases is less than 84,000, um, a little less than 2,900 deaths. So yeah, that's not good by any means, but you flip over here and you look at the dadgum flu, you know, it's, I mean, there's not even any comparison. There's been 29 to 41 million flu illnesses. There's been uh, 16 to 41 thousand deaths from flu. So yeah, you know, nobody was nobody was uh, talking about that before. I don't know. I just I'm just so so sick of the. Uh, those sleaze balls that they call them, <laughs> call themselves news shows and stuff. I don't know. Always something. Yeah, yeah. 
Mark says uh, he'll still like the old one better. Yeah, he probably will until he gets the new one, uh, new one broke in, which we'll probably do today when he comes, unless it comes late. And I don't know. I think the Amazon people are bringing it. In. Um, I mean, when I get deliveries, I know if I know if it's got a uh, a tracking number that's with the U.S. Postal Service. My mailman's pretty, pretty regular. He he's always here somewhere, usually no earlier than eleven, and usually no later than say twelve thirty. Usually he's right around eleven thirty or twelve, something like that. You can pretty much set your watch by him, unless he's on vacation or taking you know going another route. And then we got that goofy gal, and they don't tell him when she'll show up. But, uh, but Gary, my regular guy, he's, he's very, um, consistent. And then if it has a tracking number, that's UPS, I know that it's probably going to be four o'clock or after, but if it's got one of those Amazon tracking numbers, no clue, maybe here in the morning, maybe around lunchtime, maybe eight o'clock at night. <laughs> You just, you just don't know. You just don't know. Um, okay, I guess Dwayne's talking about what he's going to do this weekend. Shoveling snow. Uh, yeah, same ones complain when he stopped flights from affected areas. Yeah, they're like, well, you can't do that. You know, they... they that's why I get so sick of the news. They, they, they don't like um, whatever he does. Doesn't matter. They don't like it at all. So. Yeah, I just got a notification that I'm live on the coffee sessions. Isn't that great? Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I've got... Uh, Going to be working out in the, well, I say shop, it's my garage, because I really have two two things. My shop shop is around back, as most of you might know. And then I have my garage, which sometimes I refer to that as my shop, because it is kind of a shop. It hadn't been a garage. There hadn't been a car parked in there in years. It's more of a shop than it is a garage. So, But... Um, yeah, got a lot of stuff to do. Going to work on some things, be shooting some video. Uh, this week's video will be very different than any other video you've ever seen me do. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you can <laughs> watch it or troll or whatever you do, you know, whatever you do. Yeah, Mark says it's 619 and I still haven't gotten a notification that you're live. Well, it's, yeah, it's, that email came in at about 918. And of course, it's, the timestamp on it says 910, but it just, just now came in. So, I don't understand all that stuff. I think the only way you get it in real time is when, uh, when you happen to be on the app and, and it pops up right then. But uh, I noticed something else too, and I'm not being critical, but I've noticed uh, a lot of other live streams that um, I watch when they go live, you know, you'll get a notification that they go live. And then if they're monetized, you know, they're going to have an ad playing. So, you know, it'll, you'll get the notification says, Hey, you know, go bing or live and you click watch. And when it opens it up, first thing you see is the ad and you can't, you know, you have to at least wait till it gets to where you can skip the ad. And by then you've missed the first 30 seconds or so of their show. And I don't know why people don't realize that and wait 30 seconds until after, after the ads played. 
that's just my my two cents. Because uh, I like to catch, you know, if I'm going to watch something, I like to catch the very beginning because you don't know what they said. You have to go wait to, and then go back and watch it again. So, anywho. Larry Galt says, when my Amazon delivery guy gets within nine stops, I can watch it in real time where they are. Yeah, I get those uh, I get those little messages too, and it'll say your your delivery is 10 stops away or whatever, and you can look and and you go, oh, well, you know, they'd probably be here. But it's weird because sometimes it'll do that, and it may still be like three hours. So I don't know. I'm thinking, is that guy really that slow that it's taking them? three hours to do 10 deliveries. Uh, I don't know. And then other times I've gotten that message and it'll say, Hey, your, your package is eight stops away. And the next thing I know, I look up and they're already here. So I don't know, but I do like, I like that they, uh, I don't know if they do this Larry where you're at. I, I'm assuming that's a, Amazon policy, but I like that they, they'll bring it up if I don't greet them out there in the driveway or something, if I'm not outside, but they'll walk up and set it on the porch and they step back and they take a picture of it. And then that way you get to see a picture of where it is. So like if I'm around back or something and I get that message, I can look and I'm like, Oh yeah, there it is. It's sitting right there on my, on my front porch. So, but, uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. Frankie CNC and woodworking channels here. <laughs> Which I still have to laugh because his, his YouTube channel is Frankie CNC and woodworking channel, but then he's got a the little red no CNC thing. Got to fix that, uh, Frankie. Everybody needs a CNC. Come on. Everybody does. Jim Senecola says the dolphins are very active this morning. Hmm. Not around here, but where that old snowbird is. Yeah, um, well, I got a couple more comments popping in that sometimes it's, it's annoying too. Like I like to have the YouTube thing over here so that I can make sure when I click the thing that it does here. And also, you know, when I was talking about the, uh, when you go live and wait a few seconds before you, you know, you start doing anything because of the the ad thing now that i'm on this new channel that's not a factor because this new channel you know i've got like a whopping uh, 56 subscribers <laughs> yeah so uh obviously i'm not monetized on this channel so mark says when i go live I usually take a few seconds to start talking. And when I do, it's just saying good afternoon very slowly and killing time until I think the ad is played. Yeah. Oh, there's my timer. I set it and it looks like it went off early because I pushed it so I wouldn't forget. I pushed it the same time I hit that other button. But... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be real critical or anything. I'm just saying that, that I don't know if the people that, that do those lives, you know, they need to realize that if they're monetizing uh, and they're having it set to where the, the ads play at the beginning, that's the first thing people are going to see. And it's like the ad ends or they finally get to the point where they can click the skip ad thing. And you're already they're already in mid sentence talking about something. And to me, that's that's just a little annoying. That that's just me. 
replied, says, guy took a picture against the garage, then put it in the mailbox. I found it hours later, thought it had got stolen. Well, yeah, that's kind of stupid, isn't it? Why did he take a picture of it, lean it against the garage, and then go hide it from you? Yeah, unless he thought that the weather was going to get to it and thought of that. But he should have, you know, then he should have taken us another picture and stuck it in the mailbox. Although I'm not, I'm not sure how it is because Clyde's in Canada, but uh, I'm pretty sure nobody's supposed to put anything in the mailbox, but a postal carrier. In other words, Amazon and UPS, they can't, they're not supposed to stick stuff in your mailbox. They're supposed to bring it on your porch or by your garage or whatever. So. Frankie says, that's funny. The neighbor ordered a stereo system and TV. Amazon guy showed up, set the stuff on his porch, took photo then loaded stuff back up and left. He got it on video, filed claim on him. Mmm, yeah. So you got a little crooked uh, Amazon guy. Yeah. That's, you know, with me, uh, I'm kind of lucky because with me being home pretty much all the time, uh, I, I actually like to know when they're coming and, and now like stuff like Jack's ball is not a big deal, but like the other day or what was it? I guess a month or so ago when I had this computer coming, uh, you know, it's an $850 computer and then I had a monitor too. So that's another, I think the whole order was like a thousand bucks or something. And, uh, you know, when they pulled up to drop it off, and I think UPS brought that. I'm not sure. But, you know, I, I walked out. You know, I was watching for it because I knew when it was coming. So I walked out to the uh, um, driveway and got it from him. And I'm, and I'm glad I did because, uh, not that I think he would have taken it, but the the computer was in the box that says computer. You know, it didn't. Ha it wasn't a plain box of any kind. It was a the same way with the monitor it was you know where you could clearly tell what it was so um so yeah i glad i got that yeah I, I usually try to meet them in the in the driveway whoever they are the amazon ups whatever um you know i always try to Tell them to stay safe and all that, especially, you know, the UPS, because they had that crazy stuff going on a while back and all that. Um, Mark Bixel's in the house. How you doing, Mark? Um, you have the watch time. We need to get you over a thousand subs. Oh, you're talking about to monetize this channel? Um, it's not really a big deal. Um, I mean, you know, when I had it on the other channel, uh, of course I could monetize because I had plenty of views and, and watch time and stuff over there and subs, but, uh, it just made sense to move it because my sub count, not that I'm big into subscribers and all that, cause that, that's not really they don't really mean as much, you know, that's kind of a bragging thing for most people. They, they don't mean that much to me, but, uh, you know, the, the, I think that having the coffee sessions and because it's just kind of a BS thing, like we do here every morning, that would mess up people that would subscribe thinking they were going to see other stuff. And they're like, well, what is this stuff? So my subscriber account, kind of just froze and it kept going back and forth within a few <laughs> hundred things. I'm like, okay, it's probably, I probably should move these coffee sessions, especially when I knew I was going to start trying to get, uh, uh, more motivated to do, to do more videos. So, you know, and of course, moving them, creating a new channel called the Dave Gatton coffee sessions and 
moving the old, you know, there was like 90 videos that I moved and they all had, you know, a lot of them had not a ton of views, but most of them had over a hundred views, I guess. Well, see all that loss, you're all back to zero <laughs> when you move them over here. But, uh, so yeah, I don't know what the watch time is here. I hadn't even looked because like I said, I got 56 subscribers. So, um, only 900 some more to go, I guess, but uh, I don't, I can't ever see, uh, the Dave Gatt coffee sessions having a whole lot of subscribers anyway, cause it's, that's not what this was intended to do. It's just to hang out with you guys and drink coffee. And I don't think that'll be a, a big thing for most people. Carl Whitaker's in the house. How you doing, Carl? I got a little story to tell Carl here. Uh, you know, Carl's one of my old uh, high school buddies. But I got an order today, and I won't mention their name because I don't see them on here. They probably wouldn't care, but I, you know. But anyway, I got an order today that's uh, ship going to be shipped to Danville. Danville, Indiana. And this is like the first time, I think. I mean, I've shipped other stuff to indiana but it's always like indianapolis or beach grove or different places where i kind of know where they are but but you know i could look up this address in danville and i'd know exactly where that spot is it's probably minutes from where i grew up so i think that's kind of cool but uh anyhow let's see yeah he says mailbox once installed becomes federal property not supposed to even hang stuff on them such as ad pamphlet yeah and that always ticks me off that uh these people come and you know will hang stuff off of the mailbox or put the little flyers they'll stuff them in between the flag and the mailbox that that, that irritates me um but uh all right. Well, I guess it's about time for me to wrap this up. Troy's got a little interesting thing here. He says, have a great and safe weekend, everybody. Thumbs up. Don't forget to tune in to CNC with Dave tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on YouTube. It's going to be another great show. I am really excited about this show. Uh, my good friend, Becca Miller, who is a fantastic lady, um, She's going to be coming on. She just recently completed uh, her GAT and CNC build, and she's going to be talking about her experience um, building that. And she's a character. Uh, so uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to having her on. So if you're not doing nothing and you're into CNC stuff, come, uh, come join us tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, on the other channel, the one that makes money, not, not, the, <laughs> not this one. Uh, this one's just for fun. This one's just for fun. So, all righty, we're going to get out of here. Everybody have an awesome Friday. I've talked way too long today. I got work to do. We got balls to chase. You know, we got stuff to do. So we're going to get out of here. Everybody have an awesome Friday. Have an awesome weekend. And I hope to see y'all tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Take care, everybody.